welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tanika Dion all right today I'm going to be doing a um, small little uh, Sephora haul I did go to Sephora about a week ago and I did purchase some things um, it's a small haul but it's a expensive haul to me it's expensive I ran out of that place after I had spent two hundred and ninety three dollars but anywho um uh yeah so that was that but um and also i did also go to um dollar general and i picked up their new line called believe i believe that's what it's called um even though i was down and out for about eight days and i am finally back happy to be in front of the camera um yeah i was in and out of um uh Instagram and I did have one of my subscribers Janet G um, Tell me about the dollar the new line from Dollar General. I think it's made exclusively for Dollar General It's called believe beauty. I believe that's what it's called um, And then when she told me that I immediately went out the next day um, to go find what I could find on the um, uh um, in the product for the products oh my gosh what's wrong with me but anyway so yeah I went immediately the next day and I did find it in my local Dollar General <clears throat> and everything was five dollars or less it wasn't a dollar but everything was five dollars um, or less actually I don't think anything was less than five dollars though I think I think everything actually costs either four or five dollars um, for this new line that they had um, now I will be showing you that as well and um, um what else what else what else um that's it okay so and um let's get started firstly i will go ahead and show you the dollar general yep and uh the receipt is not in here because i thought i kept it but i did not because i did buy some cookies and chips and things like that toilet paper laundry soap you know all that good stuff because dollar general has the name brand stuff too so that's what i got there but anyway all right so the first thing that i got from dollar general was the foundation yeah it's called believe beauty so this is believe beauty skin finish foundation medium to full coverage it is 0.85 fluid ounces and i got the color hazelnut this was the only thing that was closest to my shade everything else was super super light in the bottle this actually looks dark but you know for my subscribers i will do whatever even if it's too dark at least i can show you um you know the coverage and things like that even if it is too dark but yeah it looks like that believe beauty can you see that oh let's do it this way exclusive to um dollar general yep so i can't even tell you but i do remember that this was five dollars like i said everything i got because i remember was um four or five dollars like i think the mascara might have been like three but everything was either five or four dollars and I, I remember that exclusively all right and so that's the foundation i got the next thing i got was one of the palettes i think they had like four different palettes they all came in um a six pack like this and I chose this one, Believe Beauty. And this one is Nearly Nude. Y'all know I'm a nude girl. So, yeah, I thought this was really pretty. Um, I'm not going to do any swatches and things like that for you today. Um, because I'm actually going to put this in next Friday's video, which is... Um, june 7th yeah june oh shoot that's my anniversary ha 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 anniversary for me and my hubby and an anniversary okay so um 23 years oh my god how did i forget that i don't even know how i forgot it but anyway um yeah so i will be doing this in the um full face as well as first impression first impression friday next friday because today is friday as well and you know you'll be seeing this look um as to what i use for the deets in this uh first impression friday so anywho um yeah now the next thing i got was the beauty sponge believe beauty it is a four-sided makeup sponge designed without latex perfect for applying and blending formulas all righty and it looks like this a blue sponge four-sided yep 
Believe Beauty. Next thing I see here, Believe Beauty Delicate Finish False Lashes Glue Included. This is all that I saw. This was like the most dramatic pair I found. And y'all know your girl don't do basic. Look at that. Basic wear. Basic wear. These things that's touching my eyebrow, y'all. Touching my eyebrow. Basic. Never. But anyway, yeah. These are, um, yeah, this is about the best ones I could find and they you know whatever all right and um, the next thing is believe beauty extended lash lengthening mascara which I will you know be putting on before I put on the falsies as well as putting it on my bottom lashes yep next thing is believe beauty pretty and prime color correcting primer yep again everything will be believe beauty because like i said it's going to be a full face and first impression next friday june the 7th next thing i got was a brow defining pencil this is in dark brown and it has a spoolie and it's a pencil so that's good always need a spoolie all right Next thing I got was the Your Covered Liquid Concealer, and I got the color beige. You know, they don't be having uh, too, too many um, colors for women of color. A lot of their stuff is just light, like for the really light and fair people. So, you know, I was happy that I was able to find this, although this looks dark in the container you know it may not be i don't know but none of my foundations have ever been like a hazelnut type color but it's all good like i said it's it's all they had the next one up from this was like a um i believe the color if i remember was like a, a medium medium tan or something but that was like light 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 it was lighter than this it was light so i was like uh no but anyway and the next thing i have is the believe beauty get glowing highlight and contour palette this is in the medium deep very nice i hope this stuff is good quality like i said i'm not doing any swatches or talking too much about it i just wanted to show you everything that i got that i'm going to be doing my full face and first impressions with for next friday and then the last thing it looks like is a liquid matte liquid lips velvet matte liquid lipstick and this is in the color foxy it's like a nude pink type of color very nice this is upside down ain't it oh no it's not okay <laughs> but yeah it looks like some nice products y'all so again um be on the lookout for that next friday for sure um yeah because i will be doing it early in the morning like i like to do a lot of the times i do it either thursday um thursday i will do for my first impression friday or i will do it bright and early Friday morning like I did with this first and fresh and Friday that I have on right now which the video um, of course will be linked by now and I will link it in the cards if you have not already seen it all right so now let's get into my uh, small but expensive Sephora haul here we go and let's see first thing that comes out is this Sephora skincare trio which um, you've already seen because I did um, buy another one for my giveaway this is in prize number 500 it is a trio a skincare trio the super hydrant um, all day hydrator the purifying mud mask and the clean skin gel so yeah picked one up for myself as well this was how much was this $20 this trio was $20 can y'all see that? Did that focus for y'all? Okay, yeah. Very nice. Alright, that was $20 there. And the next thing I got was uh, the Peter Thomas Roth six-piece six kit um, of mask, which I also put in um, a giveaway. I got another one for the giveaway. This was $25. This was in the prize uh, 400. This was in prize 400 and this was in prize 500. Had to get stuff for myself too. Y'all know I like skincare. So 
yeah and again this was $25 look at that I told you each mask in the giveaway so if you want to know each and every mask you can look at the giveaway video the next thing is the next thing is oh, now let me just go and grip you know what I should just pull this stuff out and show it to you so I don't have to have this big old bag here seems like I'm pulling out a lot but I'm not and all right then I can do what is this Sephora okay Sephora Sephora all right so you already told you those prices and all right and um yeah yeah look yeah Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't $2.93, y'all. It was actually $2.61. Um, it actually came to $3.61. Everything I can y'all see that? See, it came to $3.61. $361 is what I spent. But on this side, you know, I'll show my credit card and everything. But I used a um, $100 gift card that I got for Mother's Day for my son. And then I had to pay $261. So that's why it's $361 is what I paid on this visit. That's what I said. It's a small haul, but it's expensive. Okay. But anywho, um, yes. Yeah, so, oh, let me do that just in case for the price. Now, um... Got that, that, got that out the way. Okay, and so let me just tell you what I went in there specifically for um, with my gift card. <laughs> this is what I went in here for. It was for some skincare. Not those two, not for these. I didn't go in there for these. I just saw those and, you know, said, oh, they would be nice for a giveaway. And then when I got it for the giveaway, I said I should get one for me too. Okay, but anyway, what I went in there for was this beauty right here. The Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Okay. Now, I went in there to try this because my homie, Jenny Reviews and Vlogs, she swears by this stuff. She loves it a lot. She has extremely dry skin. Well, I don't know if it's extremely, but she has dry skin like I do. I say I have extremely dry skin, and it does come with a little spatula. She did say that. She Now, she talks all about this in her skincare video as well as, um, uh... Let me see. I can't remember the titles of them, but she has two videos um, recently about skincare, and she talks about these, so it's great. But anyway, so yeah, since she has dry skin and she loves it, so I said, why not try it? So yeah, this is these three products, which I'm about to show you, are the three, uh, or is the reason that I went into Sephora. I was going to use my gift card on these three things that my son gave me, and that was it. It never works out that way, does it? But anyway, this comes with a spatula, like I said, and it looks like this. It's just a um, sleeping, overnight sleeping mask. You know, you put it on your, you know, do all your nightly skincare. Then you put this stuff on, sleep with it, and then wake up. And, you know, it's supposed to be nice and moisturized and hydrated and all that stuff in the morning. And I love that it comes with a spatula. This is what it looks like outside the box. I love that it comes with a spatula because your girl got nails. I did get my nails cut down this time though. Yeah, I'm not used to having them this short, but I wanted to cut them down this time. So, yeah. But anywho, and I got this little nude color. It's a little cute, ain't it? A little cute little nail. <laughs> but anyway, so that's that. That's the first thing I went in there for. And see, I had looked it up online because I knew. I'm telling you, I had my game plan ready. I was like, okay. I'm going to get this. And then I was looking at other stuff. But then um, when I saw this, I said, oh, well, since I'm in the Laneige family, I might as well get this. The Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask. So you get the sleeping, the water mask, sleeping mask. And then I said, okay, well, let's go ahead and stick with the family and get the Eye Sleeping Mask by Laneige. Which, you know, uh, I figure would be just as nice you know because jenny says that it's good so it is good in my book okay like she didn't talk about this but i'm saying because of this i decided to go ahead and try his sister you know so anyway that's this that's what it looks like you know you would take this off and then replace with this and use a little thing thing okay which i have not tried yet because like i said i'm just now 
feeling like me getting myself back together all this damn talking i'm doing i am sorry okay so that's the second thing i went in there for and then the third thing would have been sticking to the family the laneige lip sleeping mask <laughs> so yeah and um yeah so i wanted to get these three laneige products and this comes in a little jar like this and it also comes with a spatula, little teeny spatula. Isn't that the cutest little thing? <laughs> and a little envelope. <laughs> and yeah, same thing. So with all of these products, you put them on at night and then just sleep with them. And then in the morning, you know, when you wash your face and all that stuff, you're supposed to have nice, good, hydrated skin on your face, under your eyes, and your lips. So I bought all three of those. Yeah, and that was my main intention. I had my plan ready. That's why I looked it up online so I know how much it was and I was ready to go. So, these three things ended up costing me $361 because of all the other stuff. So, anywho, but y'all, you know, I ain't mad. Y'all know, it's, it's all good. Retail therapy, who can get mad at that? Except your husband or your wife. But, you know, whatever. So, um, I did that. Oh, I didn't tell you the price. Okay, so, let's see. The eye sleeping mask right here. The eye sleeping mask was $34. The water sleeping mask, um, my main, main reason for going, was $25. The lip mask, where is it? What the heck is it? Uh, land, land. What? Oh, it's $20. Wow. Okay, see? I would have been fine. That would have been fine. That's all within my $100 limit of the gift card. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> so, yeah. But anyway, that's that. Let me just put this stuff back in the box while I'm doing this. I mean, in the bag. Okay, and so then... Oh, let me put these two back. To, I already showed you that too. Oh... All right, and so next, um, next thing I come on, next thing I bought was y'all know now. Oh, that's okay. Y'all know I'm a foundation junkie. Other people, you know, love lipsticks, uh, palettes, all that type stuff. You know, I'm fine without getting a new palette uh, every week, every month, or whatever, because you know I have so many. I'm fine if I never get another palette. For another year seriously i would be absolutely fine so you know whatever and plus you get um palettes in a lot of the subscription boxes so you know i'm fine without pal any more palettes if i had to go for a year without any i'm cool i am cool but foundation woo! i love foundation and by the way y'all know jacqueline hill is coming out with her own line that all the um new lipstick line she got coming out on the 31st now like i said I, i'm not a, a lipstick person or i'm talking about like lipstick liquid lipstick lip gloss none of that i mean i could i would be fine if i didn't have that either i mean seriously i would be fine if i didn't if i couldn't get that for a year too so you know I, i'm a foundation person but anyway back to um Jacqueline Hill when it comes out the 31st me myself I will not be jumping to the front of the line to get any I mean you know I got all of her palettes from Morphe I got them you know the 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 vault and the um the separate one I have those so that that's fine I like the palette and let me tell you something y'all know I do not own one palette from Morphe except for the Jacqueline Hill I don't know not not one I just never you know Saw none that absolutely made me want to buy. Now, I watch uh, reviews and stuff on them. And, you know, I'll be like, oh, those are so nice. And then I say, okay, I'm going to go and uh, get it. I never ended end up getting it. But, you know, I am going to get one eventually. I even bought one for my um, um, giveaway, you know, um, twice. So, no, twice? Once, once. I bought one um, for my giveaway once. Okay. But anyway, I'm off topic again. So let's get back to what I bought. All right, so the first thing I bought was the Laura Mercier Flawless Radiance Perfecting Foundation. Looks like that in the box. And I got the color 5C1 Nutmeg. 
Now, mind you, I hope these colors are right because I was actually rushing. I did not have time to stand there and try out as many as I wanted to because I had my little baby boy with me um, because we were going to build a bear, of course, and he would not act right. As soon as he saw we was at the mall, <sighs> I could not keep his butt still or quiet or anything so i had to go in here just get the stuff i tried them you know one or two out but i don't know if i could have even went with a different color i'm not sure yet but i was rushing so hopefully i did good with the swatches um but anyway this is what it looks like i know you know in the bottle it looks kind of dark but sometimes that doesn't really you know um you know because i was looking at some of my other ones i was like oh gosh that's way off you see what i'm saying that is off 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 but you know we'll see what's going on when it's time to try if it's too dark then you know i will be taking it back or exchanging it so that's what i got in that laura mercier and then also to go along with the laura mercier foundation i went ahead and bought the laura mercier uh flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer oh shoot <laughs> and in that i got the color 4n this color I really like. I think this is going to be great. Great, great, great. So that's that. So I will put those two away because I don't want to get confused. And let's see. The Laura Mercier um, uh, Let's see. Let's see. I did that. Did that. Did that. Uh, do, come on. Laura Mercier. Where is it? Oh. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> Laura Mercy A foundation was $40, $48. Um, and the concealer was $29, $48 and $29. See how quickly this adds up? A little bit of stuff. It looks like I got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten products for $361. Lord have mercy. But anyway, yeah. So the next thing I got foundation again because that's basically all that i got all foundation um except for two things the skincare and these two things everything else oh and that skincare so no actually then i only got oh three foundations and a concealer okay but that's still good but anyway this shit was expensive so that's why i came up to what it was next foundation i got was the estee lauder double wear stay in place uh foundation looks like that in the box yeah i was on my high end feel today. Um, I mean last week when I went. And I got the color 5W1 bronze. Hope I picked well. You know with these glassy ghostly. I mean cloudy bottles. Sometimes you can't tell. But it looks a lot different. Well Laura Mercier I put it back. That Laura Mercier I'm looking probably is too dark y'all. See that's what happens when you rush and you take a baby with you. Well, he's not a baby, but that boy was so antsy and so anxious and so ready to get the build a bear. Woo! Woo! Um, so ready. And then ended up spending $50 on a bear plus the clothes. Yeah, but, you know, it's not the first time we've been. It's, it's, it is what it is. Anyway, so, yeah, got that. And the Estee Lauder Foundation is um, $42 like all my foundations was $48 $42 29 okay and so let's put that back and then the next uh foundation that I got this was definitely a splurge item this is the luminous silk luminous silk uh foundation color is 8.75 Giorgio Armani Giorgio Armani and that was $64. $64 for this foundation. But anyway, you know, I heard such good things about it. But anyway, and this is what it looks like, you know. See, these colors look more like me. I think I was way off on that Laura Mercier, y'all. That was the first one I tried too when I got in the store and my son started acting crazy. But anyway, so yeah. Um, I mean, not the first one. That was the last one. I was coming to an end when I got the Laura Mercier. So maybe I rushed a little too much. But anyway, yeah, isn't it the cutest packaging? I know you all saw this before because I believe this has been out a while. But, you know, 
I never saw myself want to spend $64, but you know, because of the fact that like I keep saying, I'm staying away from matte foundations. The only type of foundations uh, I'm, want, I'm buying now are luminous finishes, radiant finishes, foundations that uh, give you a dewy look. And I want natural finishes, just not matte anymore because it, it just sticks too bad. The older I get, even with the, the best of um, skincare products and moisturizing, to me, it just it always sticks and settles on you know these pores like here and here and it's just always so dry and i even use my my hydrating sprays i mean it looks good i can wear a matte foundation i really can but i just don't it breaks down too quick because it is drying and it starts sticking now it looks good at first i mean i don't know why i'm doing it now but um yeah it looks good but it does tend to stick so but anyway so yeah that's why i i, I you know don't buy matte foundations anymore now if there's really a company that does make a matte one one, um that's new that i like i will definitely go ahead and buy it even if it's matte but you know as far as going out of my way to buy a matte foundation i will not all right and then the next thing i got is the let's see everybody on youtube talks about this all those big youtubers so i decided i better go ahead and try it so this is the milk makeup hydro grip primer and um, I believe this, yeah, hemp derived cannabis ex extract, blue agave, blue agave extract, activate all day hydration and hold. I can't read right now because I saw the word cannabis. But anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, I see a lot of big uh, YouTubers use this. A lot of them. A lot of those are. Uh, big youtube -y. so that's why i decided to try this specifically jackie ina but i saw others a lot of others but yeah on her last video and she kept you know she, but she talks about it a lot but anyway so i decided to go ahead and try this um oh did i show that i'm so being all fast and stuff sorry looks like that all right I guess that's why it's green because of the cannabis extract. X. Why well, I can't say X extract. All right, and that milk primer was um a doop a doo. Thirty dollars. All right, and then the last thing I bought was you know how you um waiting at checkout and they have all that stuff to entice you. Um, nothing, you know, I kept, I was like, nope, not going to look at this stuff because I know I will end up with so much stuff. That's actually how I got the, um, saw this, that I got two of these, you know, when I bought me one and put one in my, uh, giveaway. That was, um, at the, uh, that little, what do you want to call it? That little station that you see when you wait in the checkout and support. Yeah. So, um, also in this little station, I did go ahead and pick up this little bronze duo mini bronzer set. Sun Stalker and Matchstick by Fenty Beauty. <laughs> Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is just a little mini duo. I don't own anything from the uh, Fenty line except for um, two uh, mini lip glosses too. And I think they're almost going at that. But I don't own anything from Fenty because her stuff is, well, the foundation and, and concealer is matte. And I just never wanted to try it. I, I just didn't. Um, so yeah, but anyway, so yeah, I got the little bronze duo and yeah, looks like that. Alrighty. And this little bronze duo was, um, $24, $24. All right. And that is all 10 products. Like I said, it's a small haul, but it's expensive. And, um, yeah, that's everything that I bought and definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout because of course they're fun foundation. So I will definitely be using them in Fridays to come, um, for first impressions. And then of course, after that, when I, uh, use them, 
so yeah i really 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 appreciate each and every one of you thank you thank you so much and remember my giveaway is still going on it is going on until june the 7th i will be having um two winners prize 400 and prize 500 check out the video um on the giveaway i'll <laughs> excuse me i'll link it above i don't know if that's if i said that already in the video because if i said it already then it'll already be linked um if i did not i'll link it here as well as check instagram and the um rules are there as well again thank you so much um i just lost my train of thought what was it oh yeah thank you thank you thank you so much i really really appreciate you if you have not done so already please hit the subscription but subscription yeah all right it's time for me to go sit down somewhere for real if you have not done so already please hit that uh subscribe button the notification bell so you never miss an upload like and comment thank you thank you thank you appreciate you bye